Today we'll be talking about the conservation of energy. So the conservation of energy is based around the concept that energy can neither be created or destroyed. For example, when a bowling ball falls to the ground from a cliff, no energy is added or taken away from it. This is because its kinetic energy comes with the loss of the bowling ball's potential energy. So here's how it works. As the bowling ball falls, its kinetic energy increases because the velocity increases and its potential energy will decrease because the height of the, or the distance between the ball and the ground decreases. So to calculate the bowling ball's total energy, we'll use this, uh, this equation, E equals KE plus PE. In other words, total energy equals kinetic energy plus potential energy. Um, so here's the example question. So what is the bowling ball's total energy if it has a mass of 50 kilograms and it is standing at a rest on top of a 10 meter cliff? Um, so I have my equation up here, and I know that kinetic energy equals to one half mv squared, and potential energy equals to mgh, and I plug all the numbers into the equation, and I'll have, I'll be left with zero plus five thousand. So the total energy will be five thousand joules. Um, now let's say I wanted to find the height of the bowling ball when it is traveling at uh, seven meters per second. So I'll plug seven into the velocity slot and leave the height blank. And I'll have 5,000 joules because the energy is all um, because the um, energy is the same as when it was at rest. Um, so I'll have 5,000 joules equals to one half um, the mass, which is 50, and the velocity 7 squared plus the mass again 50 times gravity times height. And I'll be I'll have uh, uh, 7.55 meters after uh, calculating that equation. Um, so now let's say I wanted to find the velocity of the bowling ball uh, before it reached the ground. So I know the height will be zero and the whole potential energy uh, like portion of the equation will be zero. Uh, so now all I have to do is calculate the kinetic energy part and plug um, and divide 25 on both sides and square root of uh, both sides of the equation. So I'll be left with 14.1 as um, mean, uh, 14.1 meters per second as the velocity. So now there are different types of energies, and um, these different types of energies include sound, which deals with things we hear, kinetic potential, which deals with objects' position. So there's gravitational, elastic, and uh, electric potential energy. There's thermal energy, which deals with the object's motion or position of atoms and molecules. So if the atom uh, are moving quickly, the temperature of the object is higher, and radiant energy, which deals with light. So it's important to note that um, energy before an event occurs uh, is equal to energy after an event occurs. So let's say uh, a phone is slid across a rocky surface. Uh, the kinetic energy generated from the phone is slid um, from before the phone when it um, when it slid across the surface will then be converted into sound energy and thermal energy as the phone would have would create sound and friction as it slides across the surface.